Hello YouTube and welcome to our fourth Unity 3 3DS Max tutorial, sorry about that. Um, so what we're going to do this tutorial is like I said last time, we're going to look at some more of the modifiers. So one of the modifiers we're going to look at today is called the shell option. The shell option basically creates a shell around whatever object you attach it to, so every polygon has a thicker shell. This is very useful when you're doing some things, so I'm going to show you an example today. So imagine we've got a cube, a box, here we go. But we want, so well, let's just resize it neatly. Uh, 430, that'll do. There we go. But we want to be able to look in through the top of that roof. So let's convert it to an editable poly and click the top. So what's the best way? We could drag it down, but that won't work. We could extrude it down. So drag it down, but then you'll never get the neatness one. You can always just go too far. So if we just delete it. There we go, that seems to have worked, doesn't it? However, these walls are paper, but like one pixel thin. That's not going to do at all. We want walls need to have thickness. We could go around every single one and extrude it, but that's just way too hard. So if we just click off, so we've just selected our object, so don't need to click anything, click it. And if you go to a modify list and press S, and then S again, just keep pressing S till you get to shell, so here. Add a shell, you'll instantly see something happen. Boom. We've instantly got a thicker outer shell on it. So let's look through some of the parameters. The inner shell is, it puts a shell inside. So if we convert the outer shell to zero, add an inner shell. As you can see, it's getting closer inside because it's adding inner shell. So if we change that back to zero. And the outer shell you saw, it adds it on the outwards. So you can have it a thick one. So I want a good thick one. So we'll say 20. There we go. So we've got a nice thick thing. And if you look at your polygons, it has added a lot more polygons to it. But nothing, it's like tiny amount, so it won't matter. It looks like a cup from that angle. We should turn this into a cup. Yeah, let's turn it into a cup one day. So we'll add a, like a bend function to it. But yeah. So we've got segments. We can mess with segments if we like. So it adds how many segments there are. Say you want to edit it individually, but you don't really need it. Bevel edges. That'll change it whichever one you want so you don't really need that bevel basically we'll look at another tutorial but they're the only two you really actually three you actually play with segments outer shell and inner shell that's really it so quick tutorial on shell really really simple thing to do super quick to do and it does help I'll show you another example so we've got a plane let's see if this works planes paper thin we know that but we don't want a thin plane, we want a small box, we've changed our mind, but we've already put the texture on and everything. So let's add a shell to it, not a wave, a shell. Shell, 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 there we go. Boom. There we go, we've now got a box, but it's still a plane, kind of. So if we wanted to say, there we go, so we've got a small box, but we want to get back to the plane of it. If we click editable poly, we've still got a plane can edit it, deform it, move it around a little bit like that, click our shell and it's instantly back. So we've got like a swan thing there. So as you can see shell is a really really good example to use. You could extrude everything but sometimes shell shell's just quicker. So thanks for watching, I hope you like this quick tutorial and see you next time.